Hello everyone, welcome to the new video. Today I'm going to show you four little tips to save the space. Yeah, because we're all training indoors now more than we'd like to, me for sure. And uh, a way around the obviously obvious obstacles might be a few of these things. So uh, in order to keep the flow as you go through the forms, yeah, instead of just facing the wall and doing the 180 and starting again, yeah, we're going to try to introduce something a little bit more satisfactory, okay? So the first one, we can go from um, cloud hands, yeah? It's quite obvious, yeah, when you know. So first thing, yeah, in most of the cloud hand form, most of the chin forms, when we cloud hands, we step behind. And then we step a long step to the heel. So one foot steps behind. Long step with the heel. Yeah, we'll just go back the other direction and show you from both sides. So we step behind and then we step with the heel. Behind and with the heel. And yes, yeah, so that's, this is the correct way to do it. Yeah. But in these times, in this refined area, you find it's going to be quite useful. Yeah, keeping a taller posture. Yeah, when you do your opening step, don't make it too open. And instead of stepping behind now, just step two, your standing foot. And instead of making a long step, just 12 inches or so is fine. Yeah, so just step to the foot. Stay tall. Yeah, you find you're going to have a lot more space in your room. Yeah, okay. Three. Two. Small step with your to your standing foot, small step with your heel. Okay, so I'm not going for perfect movement here. I'm just going to give you the quick tips. You can polish it there yourself. Okay, so the next one, um, you know, when we do the stepping forward in all the forms, you might have the space. Okay, so we do stepping forward. Yeah, we go one step. Now, if I usually step that way, there's nothing to say. Nothing to say. I can't take one step. Change my direction. See, just pivot on this heel. Change my direction. Huh? Two steps. Two steps. Yeah? Okay? So anytime, yeah, in the San Chang Bu, three steps forward or stepping softly, we can change that direction, yeah? Don't be bogged down with the dogma, yeah? Just get the movement and keep the flow. That's what's important, yeah? So the next two are specifically for the Lao Jia. So I'm just going to quickly come through here and um, when we've changed directions at the start we've changed directions yeah we do this uh, whole sequence grinning and we get to white moth and we get to rush knee now from here we do this sequence twice in a row so we're just going to do it once now we're going to embrace the knee step forward once twice and here we're just going to skip the next three steps and go straight into the punch again. Yeah. So instead of doing the sequence once, twice and punch, just do it once and punch. You'll save about eight or ten feet, depends on how long you are, I suppose, how tall your legs are. <laughs> okay, and uh, last one um, for people who are well into the loud jack, okay? So at the end of the second section, just from when we've done the cloud hands and we settle into Dan Bien. Normally the next movement, the next movement we do is change our whole jiao. Yeah. Left trick, right trick, change our whole jiao. Yeah. But instead of doing this, because what will happen is you will get back to your starting point. And you'll go beyond it by a distance, yeah? 10 or 12 feet maybe, yeah? So instead of doing that, when you get to this point, we're going to do what we call the correction step, okay? So the cloud hand ends. Correction step. Now, like when we do Jade Girl, the right hand and the right foot are going to step up, move at the same time. So we're going to do this. Watch, turn your chest left and step behind. Like a cloud hand step, 
Put your heel down. Step to the second foot. Now we can go. It works for me if I do two steps in this direction. You might want to take three. But from here, open back into Dambien. And from there, we can go straight into Chin Jiao, Ho Jiao again. Left trick, right trick. Okay? So that's a pretty straightforward, concise little few tips there. We'll, you'll find you can work in a much smaller pace, uh, space. All right? Best of luck with your practice. See you tomorrow. Thank you.